Okay so I thought there isn't really a need to make this video since I already made the tutorial which is still pretty accurate and for the collection system I just left my island opened. But surprisingly there are still quite a lot of people that want to build the farm so I decided to make this quick update slash tutorial and maybe show some tricks you can use to speed up the process. And I think I'm just gonna use the voice to speech for that, since, it doesn't really matter, it will be easier to understand me and a lot easier for me to make. Subscribe and on 1000 subs I'm gonna do a voice reveal. Okay timestamps in the description, let's just start. And anticipating the question as it stand for today, yes. It's working, no, it isn't patched and yes, the price dropped, so it's making less money than it used to, who would have thought? So pretty much the only thing you want to do before you start building the farm is to create the buy offer for a bunch of ice, sand and cacti. I mean theoretically you could calculate how much you need but let's be real, nobody wants that. After you do that you want to start with the frame of the farm, leave like 10 blocks for the collection system and then start making 1L, for one layer which is representing the L you take for thinking you will be able to handle building another layer, one layer is three blocks high. And you do that until the max height or whatever you want your farm to be. Okay, now is the important part, you want to make this 164 blocks long on the Z axis, you don't have to make it wide on the X axis, but it's important that it will be 164 blocks long on the Z axis. That will allow you to save a lot of work later, and here you can use a trick for the easy access to the ice. Basically after your buy offer has filled, you can flip that offer to whatever, then cancel the offer, it will go to you stash, and you can access that easily by just typing slash pickup stash. Or then by just pressing T on the keyboard and the up arrow. Okay, after you make sure it's 164 blocks long we can make a sand printer which you can make by just placing a layer of some blocks then a sand on top. Then you break every second layer and this is one of the reasons why it's important for it to be 164 blocks long because you can now just use Zephyr for that. Then you just want to place slabs in other direction, you can do that by hand or also use Builder's Wand and Zapper like that, you place two layers of slabs. Then break every second slab on the top layer. Expand that with Builder's Wand. And finally use Zapper to break the bottom layer. And that's pretty much a sand printer, by the way usually you want to build this at the max height even if your farm isn't to the max height, it's just so you can always expand it later, now you probably want to place the ice and the sand. Of course this is just an example, and you can make your farm go higher, and wider, just do the same thing, but, keep going higher, and wider. By the way if you have the sand printer at the max height and you don't want to fly up and down each time you can just use teleport pads. Just like I showed in that tutorial. So just do that. Next you probably want to place the fences, so just go to the builder's house and buy as many fences as you can, you can also use that trick with the crafting table. Basically you place the fences in the crafting table in the fill your inventory with some other items, and after you close your inventory the fences will go to your stash. From where you have easy access to them by just typing slash pickup stash. Now you can do the same thing we did with the ice layers to allow ourselves to use builder's wand and save some time. Then just expand the fences in other direction. Also, you don't really have to buy too much fences since you will get a lot of them back while breaking unnecessary fences. Well, next we want to break unnecessary fences and once again that's why it's important for the farm to be 164 blocks long on the Z axis. Because you can just use Zapper which will save you a lot of work. By the way I recently noticed that the zapper is now getting fatigued after zapping too much blocks, which is annoying a bit, not gonna lie. The easy fix is to set home to the place where your zapper got fatigued, leave to the hub. Wait about 10 seconds until the server on your island resets, then go back and keep zapping. Okay now it's part where you have a choice. You can just leave it like that which will make you farm a bit less efficient. 
or you can also break the fences between the sand in other direction which will make your farm more efficient but will cost you more work, so I don't know, up to you, I'm not gonna do that because, well, I'm just making example and that would be the waste of time. Next it's the worst part which is placing cacti and I don't think that there really is a way to speed up that process however there are two ways you can approach it, a fast way, by just flying and clicking fast, and the lazy way, which would be doing that with like 120% speed or something like that, key binding the placing key to F or something. Lining up yourself perfectly straight and placing your cacti by just pressing 2 key while watching a movie or something. Ok I'm not going to place all the cacti because even for that size of the farm it would take some time, so just imagine I placed all the cacti. The last part is to break the unnecessary ice, and because your farm is 164 blocks long on the Z axis you can do half of the work with a zapper and for the rest you just have to use stock pickaxe with haste and break them manually. Ok, so this is how to build a farm, I'm going to leave my island opened for you to go look at this, and at my main farm, once again it's just an example and you can build it higher and wider, hopefully it was useful for at least somebody, I'm going to also post a tutorial on how to make the collection system later, if you have any questions you can just ask them in the comment sections. If I'm not busy I'll try to respond to them, if I'm busy I'll try to respond to them later. Pretty straightforward, that's it, subscribe, 1000 sub voice reveal soon, ok bye.